Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. This is the Norwegian Parliament. A few days ago, we arranged a rally in front of the Parliament, and I was one of the speakers there. The rally was addressing the racist, Islamophobic, anti Muslim group, Cyan, Stop the Islamization of Norway, who have been traveling around the country burning the Quran in front of our mosques for too long. We were demanding justice. We were demanding that these people be prosecuted, that this racism ends now. And subhanallah, brothers and sisters, you will not believe what happened. While we were there and I was expressing how it makes us feel when this racist individual comes to our mosques, and we are there with our families to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this racist individual comes with police protection as well. And he starts calling Muslims rapists, saying that we are murderers, saying that we should be deported from the country, that our mosques should be shut down, that we should be put in concentration camps. Yes, he actually believes that we, and he expresses that we should be put in concentration camps. How does that make us feel? How does that make our small children feel? And then he picks up the Quran as a symbol of eradicating Islam and Muslims. He burns it. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. When I was addressing our concerns in this regard, we see this military jeep come here. The Quran banner is coming with his friend. His friend comes out and he burns the Quran at the very demonstration where we are asking for justice and prosecution against these very crimes. And when the brothers, they try to stop him, and they extinguish the fire, they realize that serious damage has been done to the Quran. So what does he do? He takes out a new Quran, puts it on fire and throws it out of his car. Brothers and sisters, this Islamophobia has gone too far. It's gone too far. We cannot accept this anymore. And that's why we need to take action right now. Brothers and sisters, we are establishing a da'wah center, a masjid, an Islamic institution to establish the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to inform the society that our religion is free from his false accusations against Islam. We are nothing near rapists. We got nothing to do with murderers. Islam is a peaceful religion. So brothers and sisters, we need your help, your urgent help to help us establish this Islamic institution. And by doing so, we are humiliating this evil person. He thinks that he can extinguish the light of Allah. He thinks that he can remove the mosques and the Islamic presence in this country by doing what he's doing. So we are making him the very reason for the beauty of Islam to prevail, for the message of the Quran to reach the hearts and minds of the Norwegian society. Every time he burns the Quran, every time he insults Muslims, every time he scares our children, we will raise money and we will raise lots of money and we will build our Islamic institutions, we will build our mosques, we will build our da'wah centers, we will give out Quran, we will inform the society of what this deen really is. So he thinks that he can fight or combat Islam, but in fact, whenever he does what he does, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving victory to his deen through your hands, through your hands. So that's why, my dear brother or sister, give from your right hand whatever you can 
so much that even your left hand will not know how much you gave and expect the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for venerating his deen for defending the honor of your brothers and sisters and for defending the honor of Islam and the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala click the link to donate now Jazakumullah khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh